everyone, this is Ulrika. Ulrika is an artist and this is her husband. Dida. Dida. Nice to meet both of you. Mm -hmm. I would love it if you could tell um, yeah, some I, of my viewers about your artwork. I have learned to weave in Germany many, many, many years ago. Really like they teach crafts over there. Apprenticeship and then journeyman years and finally in a master's degree. That has nothing to do with that um, master's degree here. And well, I came to this country in 1961. 61. Yes, and married Dieter. And I was already here since 1953. And we did get married. We lived in the Buffalo area. <coughs> and uh, once I retired, we came down to Georgia to lower taxes and milder climate. Yes, indeed. Awesome. I'm sure the cost of living is much better. So yes. I want, uh, Eureka, I see you're holding. Can you tell us something about this yes. next piece? This is a, actually a little wall hanging and it's called Bold Brush Strokes. But Audrey likes it to be put into a clutch. Yes. So I will <laughs> gladly do that. Thank Fasten you. It with a little Velcro. Yes, my other weaving poison. This is interesting too, but it's recycling. So my, we have to recycle. And these are recycled bags. Nice shopping bags. Yeah. That's Walmart with a little blue in. And this is Target. That's also Walmart. But the long threads, I have plenty of colored cotton. So the long threads are the colored cotton and makes it very, very, very sturdy. Very yes. good. I think yeah. that's great for the environment. That's wonderful yeah. that you're doing that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So yes. how long have you been weaving? You don't even want to know. <laughs> Since I started apprenticeship in 48. Sadly, I couldn't finish school because school high school cost money not much but we had a little sister and a little brother and my father had been in the in second Air Force. World War. right he didn't get his pension yet and so i had to, i was very 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 sorry but anyhow weaving lovely good, good. <laughs> so can you tell us about your photography this beautiful work well my photography is just a hobby okay. uh, I have started out uh, many years ago with black and white, loading about own film and developing and printing it. And I also worked for a uh, photographer in uh, Dachumbrook. And uh, as the time changed and we got better cameras with all the digital business, we're now in digital. And uh, as we travel, I do take pictures. I like the scenery and then, of course, I do like uh, the wildlife. Beautiful. There are certain things we don't do like other people do. We always save the money for the next trip. The next trip. The next trip. <laughs> exactly. Thank you both so much. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sometime. I hope you'll we'll see. Thank yes. you. Thank you. One of the things that I like most about coming to art festivals are actually meeting the vendors. I love hearing their stories and the meaning behind their creations and it really helps me in deciding whether or not I'm going to make a purchase and the fact that it was a gorgeous day out made it all the more pleasing and I did have two students in the art show to win some awards so that was really exciting as well. As you can see Harlem's a quaint little town. If you're ever in the Georgia area stop on by. festival in Harlem and I'm here in a booth with Darlene she's an artist but she doesn't want to be on camera so we're going to flip it around and we're going to take a look at her artwork and she's going to tell us about it okay all right 
right, darling. So what can you tell us about your beautiful plants that we're looking at here? These are fake succulents made out of some Japanese clay. And these succulents you do not have to water. Most of the pots are made out of pottery or high Well, what's so special about Japanese clay, darling? Japanese clay is a lighter clay. Your hands don't get as dirty as regular clay. And it's an air dry clay. Oh, okay. That is something new. I didn't know that. Now, what do the hands represent? I notice you have the beautiful hands. It kind of reminds me of like the Indian motif where there's like this hand that I can't remember what it's called, but were you inspired by another culture? Thank you. Well, the hands are mainly made out of hypertufa, which is a perlite, peat moss, cement, and water, and cured for 28 days. Okay. Lovely. It's beautiful. Thank you for taking the time to tell us about your work. And where can people, where are you home-based? Harlem Arts Council. Okay. Thanks so much. You have a lovely day. Okay. My Thanks. friend, Yune, just made it to the uh, festival. Now she doesn't want to be... <laughs> You know, why were you so late? Were you spending money? No, I was thinking of my grandmother, who's about to be 94. Uh huh. And says she does not need anything, but she likes to lounge around. So I bought her the cutest pajamas. Well, that's awesome. What did you get for yourself? I know you got something for yourself. I parked up there. Nothing. You didn't get anything, you no. know? Sure, no. you didn't. Yes, she did, guys. She <laughs> she got her a handbag. Don't even try it. Here's another one who loves to shop like me. I'm not by myself. This is my handbag. No, she got that for her husband. So she does think no, of I other people. This for me. Oh, I thought it was for your husband. That's the hand with your likes. We'll use it together. All right. But Yune is camera shy, so I'm not going to keep her on here. But Thank you. anyway, I did want to introduce my other friend to you. I do have more than one friend <laughs> all right now I'm, I'm taking it off well guys that's it for the harlem arts festival i just thought i'd share some highlights with my viewers i love taking you along on my excursions it was a gorgeous day and i met some interesting people if you're ever in the georgia area near Augusta, please stop on by to Harlem. It's a really quaint little small town. And this is also where the museum, the Laurel and Hardy Museum is. So yeah, it's really cool. Check it out. And remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he loves us so much. And I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you like content like this, I also do thrift hauls and share things about art as well as inspirational things related to faith. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye.